Take 26, here we go. <sighs> Hello and welcome to my geography assignment. <clears throat> As a little bit of backstory, the 2022 Canadian Income Survey revealed that Newfoundland and Labrador has the highest overall percentage of food insecurity of any other province in Canada. But what does Newfoundland's environment have to do with this? Well, one of the things that could be affecting Newfoundland's food insecurity are the climate regions. Let me explain. So Newfoundland and Labrador, as mentioned in the article, <clears throat> are at a cross section of three Canadian landform regions. Labrador is completely within the boundaries of the Canadian Shield, while Newfoundland consists of the St. Lawrence Lowlands and Appalachian Mountain regions. These landform regions are not exactly ideal for agriculture. The Canadian Shield is characterized by its rocky terrain and thin soil, while the Appalachian region, even though it has some locations, like inside the valleys, it can be used for agriculture, like the over <clears throat> the overall terrain is often rugged with steep slopes and limited flatland. It is worth mentioning that the St. Lawrence St. Lawrence Lowland section of uh, Newfoundland Island are pretty ideal for agriculture, but it makes up a small percentage of the overall uh, land mass. So it's fair to say that Newfoundland and Labrador are not in a geographically advantageous position for agriculture. But what does this have to do with food insecurity? Well, this can be <clears throat> supported by looking at more numbers from Statistics Canada that says Newfoundland and Labrador has the le has the least amount of agricultural production of any of the provinces. This leads to more need for food being imported from other parts of Canada and the world, which leads to uh, more expensive food prices, which uh, inevitably uh, are passed, uh, which inevitably uh, leads to less people being able to afford food, and eventually more and more people suffering from food insecurity.